Hello heroes, Forkade here with a look at Superman, but from the perspective of a writer. In fact, from the perspective of one of the greatest Superman writers alive on the planet. Yes, it's Elliot S. Magan on the meaning of Superman to him. That's coming right up on Hero Journalism. When I sat down to interview Elliot S. Magan, it was a bit daunting. Here was the guy that, at age 20, began a 15-year run as one of the primary writers of Superman comics. Over his whole career, he's written or edited over 500 Superman stories. And outside of comics, he's written three novels with Superman in them, and even did a script for the 80s Superboy TV show. The man's had a stellar career, and that just scratches the surface. First off, that's only his work on Superman. And I had a lot of questions about his less covered work in animation, so I knew with so much material to cover, I could never really do it justice in such a short time. And I realized that he's possibly the most definitive Superman writer that's still living today. You'd have to go back to the Golden Age to find someone more closely associated with the character for so long. Magan is someone who had a personal relationship with Superman from his early days as a very young child, then a professional relationship as someone who started his career on the character and has gone back to Superman again and again over five decades. What does Superman mean on a personal level to someone like that? He's my rich uncle. He, uh... Whenever I got in trouble, I'd look up in the sky and he'd send me money. Uh, he, uh... Why does the character resonate with you? Taught me how to read. There was a uh, barbershop up the street from me, Andy's Barbershop, uh, with a table full of comics, mostly Superman. And I would get my hair cut looking at the pictures and eventually reading. I was maybe four. Um... Had a dentist on Avenue D in Brooklyn uh, who had a wall full of comics. And while I'm getting my teeth drilled, I would read comics. Um, I need him again. <laughs> They're starting to crack. Um, and I watched the television show in the original, you know, in the 54 to 58. Um, I was a baby. But that was my character from the day I was conscious, I think. Um, I finally figured out Superman and Clark were the same guy because I started reading the captions. I never used to read the captions. I thought they were a waste. Um, but I was, I was into the character long before I realized Clark and Superman were the same guy. Nobody told me. Uh, when I, when I started writing comics, I think... Oh, gee, Carrie Bates, Len Wein, and I were the only people who wanted to write Superman. We just thought those were our best, the best characters. Those were the best characters. The, the ancillary characters, the supporting characters, the, the main character. Um, he was uh, authentic and uh, ar archetypal at the same time. And... Uh, I like him because he's a guy. He's a real guy with a personality and concerns. Um, <laughs> it's very important to him that Clark have a life. Um, it's gotten so important that people don't believe Superman is the real character anymore. That's nonsense. But they think Clark is the real character and he plays Superman. It's the other way around. Clark is a work of art and Superman is a real dense personality um, Superman stories aren't aren't action adventure stories they're morality plays um, every time somebody takes over the character it seems um, they depower him they cut his powers in half or in thirds or in pieces and to say that a character who can change the course of Mighty Rivers and Ben Steele is harder to write than a character who can juggle planets is nonsense. Um, he's omnipotent. So the stories come down to what do you do in this given situation if you've got all the power in the world? 
their morality plays, their ethics and morality images, and uh, and that's what I like about them. Uh, they're, you know, Julie Schwartz used to tell me, "Where's the fight scene?" You know, and I say, "Well, there's plenty of action over here and over here and over here." And I got to the point where I was handing in stories, and I would finish the fight scene in in his office because that was the least interesting thing to me. Um, so that's why I like Superman. Superman is more profoundly alive than Clark. Actually, he's more profoundly alive than you and I. <laughs> so, so there. <laughs> That's true of most of these characters. These characters are immortal. Superman is the descendant of Thor and Zeus. Um, they're real. That was Elliot S. Magan talking about what Superman has meant to him personally and professionally. Just a little bit of insight into how one of the greatest Superman writers of our age sees the character. Thanks for watching. Please help us out with a subscribe, and we'll catch you next time on Hero Journalism.